Hey there, my friends. It's Bryn Blaze here with ElevationGuild.com. Welcome along to this in-depth Exodus wallet review. We're going to do a deep dive here and I'm going to share with you everything you need to know to make an informed decision as to whether or not you want to use this wallet for your own purposes. We'll be covering many things in this review, including the user interface and the overall user experience. We'll be covering the privacy, security and safety of the wallet. Is it safe to store your crypto? in this wallet or could it be hacked? We'll be taking a look at the financials of the company and its user base growth over time. Is it a stable company that's here for the long term? I'll be giving you a guided tour of the desktop application and we'll take a look into each of the applications that you can install to extend the functionality of the Exodus wallet. And we'll take a look at how you can benefit from those. We'll be taking a look at the crypto coins that are supported and even evaluating the customer support. So stay tuned, my friend. You're going to receive a lot of value from this Exodus review. And if it's your first time finding one of my videos, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay in the loop with future videos released on this channel and take advantage of all the due diligence and research that I do to find sustainable projects with longevity that you can trust that allows you to grow your risk capital over time. So the Exodus wallet was founded back in 2015 by these two gentlemen right here, JP Richardson and Daniel Castanoli. JP is responsible for everything under the hood that you don't see. He has a background in coding and he has created open source libraries that are utilized by a lot of cryptocurrency softwares on the web today. Daniel Castanoli, on the other hand, is responsible for everything that you see, the user interface and the streamlined user experience, which we will cover in this video. And it's something that Exodus prides itself on. He has worked for companies like BMW, Nike, Louis Vuitton and Apple. They want to bridge the gap between the world of traditional fiat currency and the world of cryptocurrency by simplifying it by making the user experience very intuitive, very streamlined. And that's exactly what they've done, as you're about to see. They really have done a great job of simplifying the complex. Their mission as a company is to play their part in helping half of the world transition from traditional finance over to decentralized finance by the year 2030. And having a streamlined, simple to use interface like this is a key component to encourage mass adoption because for a lot of people, especially beginners, go to a centralized exchange like Binance and it's like trying to drink from a fire hose. It's quite complicated and that can deter a lot of people. So they've done a great job in terms of UI and UX. The Exodus wallet is a multi-asset crypto wallet that runs as software on your operating system. Everything is encrypted and stored locally on your hard drive. It can run on Windows, Mac and Linux. And after you install this, there is no registration required, no verification, no KYC. So your activity remains anonymous. The mobile app version is also available for iOS and Android. However, desktop software is always going to be more secure and will be the focus of this review for demonstration purposes. So here we are inside of the Exodus wallet. I've downloaded and installed it locally to my laptop. By default, you'll be on the portfolio tab. And as you start to deposit your crypto assets here, you'll see a graphical representation of your crypto holdings. The wallet itself, very intuitive again, very user friendly, send and receive. You can do a search for any coin that you want. Currently, there's 155 coins supported. They're listed on their website and it tells you which is supported by the exchange on the wallet and which is supported by Trezor, among other things. Underneath each token, there is a wealth of knowledge to be found, including blog posts and videos for each coin. The inbuilt exchange is just as sleek as you can see, very simple to use, especially for beginners. However, there is also the option to install the FTX exchange app inside of the Exodus wallet so that you can experience lower fees instantaneous exchanges and no caps on the amount of crypto that you can exchange because of the deep liquidity in the FTX exchange. Compound Finance. This allows you to earn an annualized percentage yield on the DAI stablecoin. The percentage that you earn, the interest that you earn annually is going to vary depending on market conditions, but it's always going to exceed what you would earn with a traditional savings account in a bank. So in this case, we're basically using DAI as the storage container of value as our capital earns interest. So why choose the DAI stablecoin? 
Well, DAI is a stable, stable coin, if that makes sense. It's collateralized by multiple cryptocurrencies, which are deposited into smart contract vaults every time new DAI coins are minted. Traditional fiat currencies is backed by nothing, whereas this actually has some collateral and it is actually backed by something which obviously makes it more stable. It's number 19 in the world right now and it is a $10 billion market cap, so it's not going anywhere. Another really cool extension that we have access to through the Exodus wallet is rewards, which really simplifies the process of staking seven different tokens and earning stake and rewards, annualized percentage yields, two of the most popular being Solana and Cardano here. Honestly, they have simplified it because especially in the early days to stake Cardano was quite technical, but here they really have streamlined the process. And I did a quick look to see on stakingrewards.com, this website pulls real-time blockchain data to determine the staking rewards that you earn. Here we can see Solana 5.86, 5.87 here. Here we have Cardano 5.03 here, a bit lower in this case, 4.91. Cosmos 13.46 and here we can see 13.46, which tells us that they are using blockchain data to give us these calculations. So it's competitive and it's extremely simple to stake on here. That's fully hands off passive income that you're earning through staking on each of these coins. And if you're overall long term bullish on something like Solana and Cardano and it's currently sitting in your cold wallet earning nothing, why not have it staked through the Exodus wallet earning you five to six percent annualized return? You can click into any one of these, click on learn more. It's going to open up an in-depth thorough article that'll give you a crash course on each of these coins, how the staking works based on each of the blockchain technologies. Very powerful. They also have a calculator for staking, which will give you an idea based on how much you deposit and the APY, what your potential earnings could be depending on how long you decide to stake. Another quite unique application that they launched in December 2021, I believe, is their NFT gallery specifically for Solana NFTs. So you can send and store your Solana NFTs right here inside of Exodus. Next, let's discuss the privacy and security of the Exodus wallet. How safe is it? Can you store your crypto there? Could it potentially be hacked? And what features are available to mitigate that risk? In order to fully answer this question, we need to first understand where the Exodus wallet, how it weighs up against other options. Exodus is a non-custodial wallet. The company itself does not have any access to your private keys. They're encrypted and stored locally on your own device. If you compare that to a centralized exchange, which is considered a hot wallet, if that centralized exchange like Binance, KuCoin, Kraken, if it were to be hacked and compromised and they got access to the data servers, you could potentially lose your cryptocurrency because you do not have the private keys in your possession. And if you think that's never happened, it has happened many times. This is a comprehensive list of every centralized exchange that has been hacked. One that you may be familiar with is Binance. There was over 7,000 Bitcoin stolen from it there, as you can see here. So it can happen and you should never leave your cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange. In case you're not aware, private keys, when we're speaking in terms of blockchain assets, is essentially proof of ownership of the cryptocurrency associated with the specific wallet address. So to get that private key in your possession is essentially the keys to the vault and crypto can be moved by anybody who has that private key in their possession. So one of the biggest determining factors when evaluating privacy, security and safety is who is in possession of those private keys and how difficult is it to get access to those private keys. I would consider the Exodus wallet to be a cool wallet. It's in between a hot wallet like a centralized exchange and a hardware wallet, a cold wallet, which we will discuss later on in this video as well. So as I previously mentioned, the private keys for your Exodus wallet are encrypted and stored locally on your own device. So in the event that the company itself, Exodus, were compromised and hacked, they would have no way of getting access to your private keys. However, as a precautionary measure, I encourage you to run malware protection locally on your device 
to help mitigate the potential risk of those private keys becoming compromised by malicious software. Because you are fully in control of your crypto assets when using the Exodus wallet, your crypto is only as safe as your own personal security practices. Therefore, the first thing you should do when you download the Exodus wallet is to go into settings, make sure you add a password and combine it with the auto lock feature, which will time out if you happen to walk away from your laptop. And also take note of your recovery phrase. This is a 12 word seed phrase. You'll hear it called a mnemonic phrase. Make sure that you store that offline. Don't take a screenshot of it. Don't store it on something like Google Drive or Dropbox, only offline. And a lot of people will simply rely on paper to store their private keys and seed phrases offline. And they're just one spilt glass of water away from losing access to their entire crypto portfolio. So if you want to be in this long term, I'm going to encourage you to go one step further to protect your assets, protect your wealth. And that's to get your hands on a stone book which is non-perishable water resistant paper that even works with a ghost pen. So even if someone got their hands on this notebook and flicked through the pages, they'd be blank. The ghost pen will reveal the lettering with UV light. So I encourage you to follow the right security practices from the beginning, because if you tell yourself that you're going to wait until you're wealthy before you start implementing top level security practices, you're never going to get there, my friend. And if you really want to go all the way when it comes to privacy, security and safety of your crypto assets, the Exodus wallet is fully compatible with the Trezor cold wallet or hardware wallet. In case you're not aware, a cold wallet such as Trezor or Ledger is a very simplified dumbed down computer that has very basic functionality. And the more simple something is, the less back doors there are, the less likely it is to be hacked. This simply stores your private keys and the private keys never leave the device. You authorize transactions from the device itself and it passes that digital signature over a bridge to something you're integrating and interfacing with like the Exodus wallet. Now your Bitcoin, your Ethereum is not literally on the cold wallet. The private keys are, which again is that proof of ownership of blockchain assets for a specific wallet address. If we're going to be using the Exodus wallet, we want to know that the company is in good standing, that they have strong financials, that they're here for the long term so that they will continually release new updates, new innovations and new improvements and enhanced security. And they're held accountable to do quarterly filings with the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. So all their I's must be dotted, their T's must be crossed. You can go in there and interrogate their financial statements if you know what you're looking at because it's relevant to the next application extension in the wallet that I'm about to show you. You can go into their shareholder letters. As we can see here, they are seeing continuous growth. Q3 2020, that's the exchange volume here. Now we're over a million in Q3 in 2021. We can see the amount of downloads has doubled since Q3 of 2020 to now over 800,000 downloads. So with all that said, they also have this Exodus shares. They're about to do an IPO, an initial public offering, which is going to allow you the ability to own a part of Exodus if you believe in the company and the strength of the company. So quite a unique offering that you don't usually see with a cryptocurrency wallet. Last thing I'll mention, which is very important, especially for newbies and beginners is comprehensive support. They have 24 seven live chat support, but they also have a very thorough knowledge base that you can search for practically anything apart from it being available to you at every step inside of the wallet itself. You can come over to support.exodus.com and pretty much crack open an article for every conceivable search. And they nearly all are accompanied by a step-by-step -step walkthrough video. So they've certainly got you covered with the knowledge and education you need to successfully utilize the Exodus wallet and they've around the clock support as well. And so it's certainly five star review from me. This was an unbiased, unsponsored video. I did this because those of you that are around know that I share out loud my thought process of evaluation as I navigate the some sometimes shark infested waters of cryptocurrency so that you can make wiser investments and better decisions when it comes to not only 
keeping your crypto, but also growing it in sustainable ways. I share with you projects that allow you to do that inside of our community over at elevationguild.com. You can take advantage of all the sifting, sorting and due diligence that I do to carefully select projects that's here for the long term. And if you got value from this video, be sure to share it with someone who you feel would resonate with this information. Like this video and subscribe to stay in the loop, my friend. Take care.